One of the top features inside Optimize Press is our overlay optimizer. And this allows you to use opt-in forms or even pop up videos and different content inside an overlay. And if we click on this button here, you can see this example that we've got and it pops up the opt-in form and allows someone to put in their name and email. And this is like a two-step process where people actually have to click on the button first, like a mini commitment and it pops up the form. And you can have videos and things inside these pop-ups. You can choose to put in whatever content you like. So let's have a quick look actually at the settings behind the scenes. So if we go into the live editor, and what we'll do, we'll jump in and look at the settings. So I've clicked on the little square icon there, which opens up the overlay optimizer. But let's just look at some of the advanced things that people don't use so much inside the optimizer. And it allows you to increase the window pop-up width, which pops up. So you can actually use the default as 600. You can play around with that and move it bigger or smaller, obviously depending on the content you actually put inside it. So if you put in a large video, you might want to increase this window size based off the video. But a couple of the things we have are the open effect and the close effect. So you can have an elastic type, a fade. You can have it zoom out and zoom in, or the zoom out effect there. Sorry, we've got the open speed as well, which is slow, normal, and fast. And we also have a close speed. And another couple of options we have are the padding that you put inside this overlay optimizer. You can reduce the padding down to nothing. Um, we have people who use it for videos. When they actually click on the button, for example, it just pops up the video. They don't see any kind of border or anything. Um, you can increase this padding. You've got the top and bottom padding, left and right padding as well. And you can see we have a border color and a border size, which you can play around with. That's entirely up to you and what you want to do with it. So that's the overlay optimizer features, just the basic optimizer uh, features. It also has a couple of advanced features, which I'll show you in other videos where we have the exit intent and the delay pop-up feature. And they're all controlled in this same um, settings panel inside the optimizer.